Meet Artemis, the soccer-playing humanoid robot. It can run, maintain its balance against heavy kicks and shoves, and most importantly, kick a ball. The first of its kind robot is being developed by mechanical engineers at University of California, Los Angeles. This year, July in Bordeaux, France, Rope Cup 2023, we're bringing Artemis and we're going to kick some balls. <laughs> the name Artemis stands for Advanced Robotic Technology for Enhanced Mobility and Improved Stability. Standing at 4 feet 8 inches tall, the robot can also withstand objects being thrown at it. Dennis Hong is the director of UCLA's Robotics and Mechanisms Lab. Robocop, the International Autonomous Robot Soccer Competition. We've been a world champions five times. That was eight years ago. I think it's about time for us to come back to a Robocop with Artemis. The robot's major innovation is its custom-designed actuators, the devices that generate motion from energy. The engineers design them to behave like biological muscles. They are springy and force-controlled, rather than rigid, position-controlled actuators that most robots have. For robots to be living with us in this environment, the robot needs to be human shape and human size, or humanoid robot, because this environment is designed for humans. So unless the robot is a humanoid robot, it won't be able to navigate this environment. Artemis's actuators are also unique, as they are electrically driven, rather than controlled by hydraulics. This makes it quieter, operates more efficiently, and also cleaner, as hydraulic systems are notorious for leaking fluids. Hong says the technologies used for soccer-playing robots can also be used for other applications. As a matter of fact, we have robots that we're using for firefighting and disaster relief. And the interesting thing is all these technologies we develop for so soccer-playing robots are being used for these more important uh, applications. Robotics student Justin Kwan hopes this technology will go towards improving people's lives. People who are struggling, you know, medical robots, uh, that's sort of the, the, the thing that I want to do. Um, so seeing these robots, you know, helping push the, the robot like technology to that next level uh, is like really rewarding because you're like, oh, the dream, it gets closer. Mm -hmm.